Good morning everyone. I thought I'd do a video about the way they use diodes in the headlight flashing circuits in some service vehicles. On the screen now is the electrical symbol for a diode with the anode which is typically the positive input and the cathode which is the output of the diode. And electricity flows from the anode through the diode towards the cathode and it is blocked so it cannot flow backwards from the cathode through to the anode. And diodes are marked with a bar. You can see the picture there, a little white line around that diode symbol. The bar indicates the cathode and the, if you visualize the triangle, the triangle is showing you the direction that electricity is flowing. So how does this work in our typical ambulance? And in my particular van I'm working at the moment, they just did it in a very crude way. Um, the Genesis module actually does the flashing and the diode simply provides segregation to the actual individual bulbs. So what I had in my van was two diodes connected together in a Y configuration. As I mentioned just now, that is the cathode, that is the output end, and that is the anode, that is the input end. And what we've got here are two diodes both with the cathode at the Y piece, this is, you imagine this is a Y configuration, there's the bar, the cathode for each diode at this end, they're joined together. So a voltage coming in down this wire will go through the diode and down there. And then electricity going down this wire will go through that diode and down there. But what can't happen is that electricity can't come down this wire and go up there and vice versa. Electricity can't go, come down this wire and go up there because it's blocked in that direction or if it's coming down in this direction then it's blocked in that direction. So effectively what you've got is the ability to provide two feeds through, through, through two separate switches or whatever you want to call it out to a common output. So the way this works is this wire here came from the original headlight switch through the diode and would then go through this wire here back to the low beam of the headlight. This wire here is fed by Genesis or the flasher relay or whatever was being used to flash the headlights. And the reasoning for having to have something like this is because in modern vehicles you no longer just have an on off switch connected to your headlights via a fuse. You'll have a light switch module which is a piece of electronics doing current limiting so if the bulb went dead short the circuit has an effectively a current limit rather than the fuse but it also has monitoring it uses CAN bus monitoring or rather it uses a monitor to measure the resistance of the bulb to make sure the bulb's still there and not blown and that's why you get a headlight or a bulb warning light on your dashboard because it uses a circuit so you need continuity of flow even when the light bulb even when the light switch isn't turned on so that the electronics can monitor the bulb is still there so this diode provides that. What you don't want is any electricity flowing back up that wire, and you certainly don't want any electricity coming from the, the flasher unit back up there to the light switch module, because that could cause damage. So the diodes provide this segregation and out of the headlight. There's some downsides with this, with the way of doing this, and relays would be far better. Um, there are some downsides, and that is a diode has what's called a forward voltage. In other words, you get a sl slight volt drop across the diode and as you probably all know with your halogen headlights they're dim in the first place the last thing you really want is um, a loss of some voltage now typically through a diode when it's loaded that's uh, you'll see about 0.6 to 0.8 of a volt drop across the diode the other downside is just the length of the cable if I pull this forward slightly you can see there's the connection that, there that's the actual pin that I've removed from my Genesis module. That actually was plugged into the Genesis module. So you can see what they've effectively done, the ambulance converter, is he's chopped the wire at the headlight end and extended it. And he's run it all the way back through the van, back up through to Genesis, through these diodes, and then down there and another load of wire back to the headlight. So he's probably added maybe 20 feet of extra cable from the headlights back to where the Genesis modules were mounted in the cab. All that adds up to volt drop. So it's possible that 
when your headlight would normally be receiving 12, 13, 14 volts, whether the alternator's on or whatever the alternator voltage is, by the time you've run through an extra 10 feet of wire to get round this piece of circuit and through the diode, you may have lost a volt, volt and a half. They've used quite a thin cable. I'm surprised how thin the cable is. So the volt drop itself is going to dim your headlight. It may not be massively noticeable, but it will have a knock-on effect. So as 99% of us will never be using the headlight flashes on their vehicles, you might as well just reconnect the headlights under the bonnet and remove all this unnecessary cabling or keep the cabling, you know, you can use the cabling for something else maybe. But this sort of circuit, diodes, and even the wigwag flasher relay systems, not really worth having, especially if they've introduced lots and lots of cabling. So that's the principle. Two diodes to provide segregation so you can feed either the flashing flash pulse from whatever is causing the flashing down the headlight wire or the light switch module itself can actually switch the headlight on. So there's the uh, remnants of the wiring I was talking about earlier on. Here's my simulated headlight over here, just an LED light. 12 volt battery. And there's the other Y configured pair of diodes from what was my other headlight. Where's my poker gone? There it is. Now, what I'm doing at the moment, I've got a fuse in here um, for the perfect experiment, but it's very, very simple. Negative, ignore the colour red, negative from the headlight to negative of the battery, positive from the battery through the fuse, down here, down here, through one diode, down a little bit of white wire down there, quite a bit of red wire, off to the positive of the headlight. If I get my multimeter, and stick that in the display somewhere that you can all see. The end result is, if I connect the multimeter lead to the negative of the battery, on the other end on my white wire there, you can see there's no volts coming out. There's no voltage measurable there at all. And that's because the diode is blocking the voltage that's coming down this wire here from going up there. So while the headlights are turned on through this wire here, there's nothing going back up to the Genesis module, which we don't want, and vice versa. If I now disconnect um, screwdriver, disconnect that, I can light the headlight up by connecting I've now connected the other lead that I was just probing just now. That is now connected. And again, the light's on because the electricity is now flowing through that diode on the right there. So measure the voltage on that leg. Nothing. No reverse flow. And that's exactly what you want. And that provides the segregation. Now, that's just how they get around being able to flash the headlights individually when um, the headlights are off. Obviously, now my headlight's on, if we were to pretend that this one here went to Genesis, the Genesis flasher unit, I can touch that on there and pretend I'm flashing as much as I like, and the headlight stays on, because obviously there's power being fed down the other leg. If I disconnect it, I can then pretend I'm a headlight flasher unit. Just by, and that's effectively what the the, re, the relay or we wag unit or Genesis, whatever it's doing, it's just sitting there flashing away. But as soon as you come along because it's dark and you turn your lights on with your other wire, then you hold out, then your headlight stays on firmly, despite the fact that the flash bay still be going. Very, very simple, and it just works. Right, thanks for watching. Next video using diodes is all about. A very, very cheap way of maintaining your chassis battery via solar or via whatever you've got charging your um, leisure battery.